What's going on guys? I'm Alexander Don and in this video I'm going to take you behind the scenes on a music video that I shot with Sony FX6 and Sony A7S III. It is pretty interesting. We're going to go through a lot of camera techniques, a lot of lighting techniques and I'm also going to give you some advice regarding on what to do and what not to do whenever you shoot a music video. Also, it is pretty interesting because we didn't have a script we only had a few locations and um, we kind of had a lot of fun in terms of lighting. So watch the video, enjoy it, and then we're gonna go directly into behind the scenes and tell you more. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video and the images because the song is in my native language so I'm not sure if you could understand something but the song sounds nice and I hope you enjoyed it. What I want to say is that if you guys are used to the channel you know that we usually start up with cameras and lenses and accessories and all that. So I'm gonna start up with the cameras I used and why I used two cameras. Well. I have this setup lately and I think it's really really smart because it makes me want to work faster. So what I do is basically I have a Sony FX6 that I use handheld and then I have a Sony A7S III with an autofocus lens on it that I put on a gimbal and therefore I don't have to struggle with getting my camera off the gimbal, putting my camera again and doing all this thing that actually makes you lose time. So I'm trying to be as efficient as possible because all of the video that he's seen was shot in just a few hours. And this means that if I manage to shoot so much in just a few hours, it means that I'm doing a really good job at being 
productive and being fast. And lately being fast is one of the things that it's very important because filmmaking tends to have um, a tendency towards fast content. So if you're able to work fast, you're going to be able to make more money. More projects done in a short time means more money. So um, this, is the, this is why I invested in making this setup so smart. So let me show you a few shots with my camera. So I have the Sony FX6 as a handheld camera with the DZO Despit Primes, which are full frame primes, which are amazing, guys. The, the image that you get out of them is super soft yet crispy and the bokeh is also very soft so it looks very beautiful uh, paired with the sony fx6 they look amazing although uh, sony fx6 is a pretty sharp camera so whenever you put softer glass in front of it it looks beautiful so um yeah i have on top my trusted monitor that i always use it's an atomos shinobi it's not with internal recording or anything like that and I don't like to have things that complicate my workflow. I like to shoot internally. I don't need raw. I don't need things that make my workflow feel heavier. So that's why I don't use external recording. And I think uh, the internal codec of the FX6 is amazing by default. So pretty simple setup. I don't have other accessories rather than my um, monitor mount, which is a small rig and um, it is a swivel mount that goes into the smart shoe of the camera so i don't have to put different accessories on the fx6 again i'm trying to be as light as possible and i don't want to like uh, take my camera off every time i go to uh, another location and that's why i try to be as practical as possible so speed is key nowadays guys and for the gimbal, I don't use external monitors. I don't use anything like that. I just put my camera, I look through that monitor. The autofocus on the Sony a7S III is absolutely mind blowing. So I don't have to stress about keeping the shots in focus or anything like that. So the setup is pretty simple. Moving on to one of my favorite parts and that is lighting. So uh, whenever I, I like to go on set one of the things that i love the most is lighting and i think this is one of the most important things whenever you shoot because this defines your quality you can have a red you can have an alexa you can have all the best cameras in the world and still not get good image because your skills lack when it comes to putting lights and working with lights so that's why every time i go on set i try to force myself to work with lights so I can uh, increase my skills whenever it comes to lighting. So I used a top light for this because um, one of the shots that we started was on this bedroom location. So we used a mix panel 150 from Nanlite. It is a great light. It is amazing. You can change its white balance. You can change its colors. It has tons of effects. And I also had a mix panel 60, which is the smaller version of it with a softbox and a grid on top. And the reason I put the light on top, it is because I wanted to avoid seeing the lights in the shots because I knew that I'm gonna move with the camera a lot. I knew that I'm gonna be on a gimbal and when you have top light, it actually gives you more creative freedom because you don't have to avoid seeing the light in your fr frame. I also put the light from the top because I had like a really small lamp there that when you see the full shot, I had a small lamp that I kind of wanted to feel for the viewer that the light comes from that lamp. So I kind of have, I wanted to motivate my lighting. Uh, the reason I chose to put blue in the shots, it is because color blue in cinematography mimics the moonlight. Usually I, uh, I tend, I want sometimes when I put blue, I want to under saturate it a little bit. So it looks more cinematic. So the reason I'm putting blue is just because I know that I'm going to under saturate it a little bit in post-production and it will look a little bit like moonlight. 
Also, you have to keep in mind whenever you're lighting, darkness isn't darkness in cinematography. Whenever you want darkness, you have to light for darkness. And that's why we're choosing blue. Blue is a dim down color. It fills up the shadows a little bit. You still have information there for grading. And that's why I'm using this. Also, I feel like this review is gonna be the longest one so far. I wanted to experiment a little bit with the Forza 60B. This is one of my favorite lights and you're gonna understand why. I wanted to have a feeling that it's like kind of raining outside and we have thunder and all that but I soon realized that it doesn't really work with the music and what she was singing and therefore I uh, ditched that idea and what we did is actually we had our lighting set up after that we were ready to shoot whatever we wanted we were ready to shoot the song so what I did is basically I played the song and I recorded with the artist like a couple of times. And this is one of the mistakes I've done with this music video. I relied on having a lot of plays, like a lot of parts where the singer is singing and not enough parts with slow motion, with reactions, with uh, some directing with her and him and all that so I feel like I focused myself on filming her singing and I should have focused less on her singing and more on making slow motion shots and making beauty shots like I would call them. First shot is not so present in the music video because it was my first time meeting the girl it was my first time working with her so i didn't feel that she was very comfortable in the first shot so whenever you have a music video try to plan plan it in a way that you're not using your uh, like you're making your first shot as a beta you're not i mean you're not putting all your effort into the first shot because you're might not gonna use it in my case so uh, the lighting was super good everything was nice but we didn't use that much from the first part because i didn't feel that she was comfortable enough so uh, moving on uh, i also did a few shots beauty shots with her holding the guy in her hand and all that again going really slow with the gimbal really slow with the handheld part and all that so uh, I, I think we shot a lot of things in the first part that I didn't use so this was one of my mistakes. I mean I wouldn't call it mistakes but it is something that you learn from experience and uh, definitely music videos are not my strong key. I usually shoot commercials that have a really different type of shooting uh, perspective so I'm used to like shooting three seconds and that's it. This one you have to shoot like for two minutes for me that is way too much. So um, moving on to the second scene and what you see here is um, something similar but different. So you can see here how I worked with colors. I still have the blue but I introduced red and I also changed the color from the Pava tube that it's in the TV. I forgot to say that in the first part but in the TV we have a small Pava tube that it's awesome it, it, those small little lights you can put them anywhere and they look cool so we put it into the tv and we started off shooting her uh, in the same outfit but then we realized we should change the outfit because um, we should have a different outfit so uh, soon after she changed the outfit with something black so two shots were ruined because we didn't like the outfit but we kept on going, we changed a little bit her position and um, the lighting stayed the same because when you do great lighting you kind of don't have to modify a lot because it looks good from different angles and when you do lighting that it's not visible in front of your character and you have to like uh, make sure you're not catching the light in front of your camera and all that it kind of blocks your creative so whenever I light I try to light as if I'm gonna shoot 20 shots there not only one so this is something that I do because I like to work fast it's not something that it's 
perfect because sometimes on bigger commercial you kind of want to have one shot that looks like 20 shots <laughs> like a, re a really good one moving on i realized that i kind of have to change something because i was putting the actress or the artist into some pretty basic positions she was kind of not doing something really creative with her body so i thought to myself what if i lay her on the ground near the tv and to be honest it was one of the best ideas i had because i i kind of saw something that i really loved this is one actually one of my favorite shots from the music video where she lays down and starts singing and i feel that that part is really something else it looks like from it looks like a scene from a really big music video i mean that's what it gives me it's something else you don't see it every day and therefore i think like one of my favorite shots from these music videos are from that part where the tv is in her right part and she sings and all that and i, f I feel it gives some kind of emotion to me that it's something different I don't know maybe you guys felt the same hit me up in the comments if you did or anything like that but again gimbal shots autofocus with the sony a7s3 it's crazy you can be so creative like i didn't get this autofocus thing until i used it usually with the gimbals you kind of have to f focus your mind to making sure the shots in focus making sure uh i don't know making sure that the composition is right making sure that your movement is right so there are a lot of things that you have to focus on and when you're shooting with this a7s uh, 3 with autofocus on and with the active stabilization on your mind sets free and you are able to create without any other uh, things that you have to think about so top down autofocus system on the sony really really good especially with the 16 to 35 that's the lens that i used on this music music video and i think it looks really good so moving on we actually had like a creative exercise so we relied on good weather that day but it rained the whole day so because of that we had to improvise with what we had so since we were at this cool location i change the set in a way that looks something different and i change completely the lighting and this is where the power of lighting comes if you're able to transform a, a room that looks simple with lighting then you know how to light for example we just changed a little bit of things and put the lights different we again we still have the forts and a light uh, we still have the mix oh my god so many names we still have the mix panel 60 with the softbox and everything uh, as our key light but in the back i have my uh, forza 60b with the projector lens on top making this beautiful um, light coming through the window that it's motivated by the the haze that we put and all that and looks so good again looks like a proper music video that you see on big artists again shooting wide tide getting all the shots that i need whenever i shoot handheld i like to hold my own focus again because we shot with a cinema glass but if i had like a 24 to 70 on that day i would have used that instead because we were relying on speed one thing that i realized is that i shot way too much for this music video i had like 18 tracks of plays without the slow motion parts and everything like that so i recorded her singing 18 times with a gimbal with handheld with all the things that i had and i think it's i think i overdid it because i'm not used to shooting music videos and this is the advice that i want to give you guys try and not relay on plays shoot like three or four plays and then just do slow motion shots or think about a story because if you have a story in your music videos it would be great try and keep it minimal minimal is always better uh, moving on we changed the location uh, i had a really cool location in my mind that we managed to rent last minute 
and it is a building with long long hallways that looks amazing on this one I filmed mostly on a gimbal we did some shots with her walking down uh, the hallways and all that I told her to move a little bit more freely and all that but I don't think we used these shots too much I think they look cool but if you compare them with the one that we did lighting and the one that we used natural lighting here it's a pretty big difference and I didn't want to like ruin the high quality premium look but we still use some of the shots because the location is very hard to rent and very hard to get access to so uh, that's why uh, I used a few of the shots again relying on the autofocus on the gimbal and doing some shots beauty shots with her singing then kissing and all that and at some point I had this crazy idea I saw like a, a piece of light coming through the window in a very cloudy day it was just like a few seconds where the sun hit the indoors and I had this idea to film her as the sun goes through so to mimic the sun I used my Nanlite Forza 60B with a projecting lens on top to shape the light as I want so I managed to replicate the sun a little bit but the reason I didn't use these shots was because I think the light was a little bit too harsh on her face and I didn't want to make her look bad because I thought the lighting on her face was not pleasant enough but I loved the idea so moving on I had another crazy idea that I thought it was pretty cool so I was looking around thinking what should I do I was like searching for inspiration and I saw a door that was like pulled off from uh, its door place and I said to myself uh, what if I use that door to create something interesting so I put the door in the middle of the building and uh, I told them to look uh, face to face through the door and just make them feel apart because in the song it is uh, about her liking him and him being a little bit distant and then he he comes back and he, he doesn't love her uh, it's a love story so uh, I thought it, it, it is great with the idea I mean it works great with the song and everything and then they try to touch even though they're, they're close apart they're actually uh, very distant so I thought it's a great idea and it works fine so my Forza 60 beam being the light ray and uh, being the the Sun in this case and we um, put a little bit of haze inside the room and everything looked top-notch and I love how these things go like you go on a set and you don't have expectations and you end up with ton of footage that looks amazing it is it is crazy honestly um, I've, I did a few more shots here and then the Sun came out just at the sunset so I said guys let's go let's get the final shots and uh, let's try and be creative so we went there we had our generator with us and we had our smoke machine and we went crazy I don't have enough behind the scenes from the sunset part because whenever you film at sunset you need all hands and every crew member in order to be fast because the sun goes fast really fast uh, the sun goes down really fast but um, we had all our lights on batteries that's one of the things that we do uh, and I had my mix panel 150 on v-mount batteries that was filling with red this is crazy so this light was filling an entire lake an entire place with red this light is so powerful even on v-mounts it is crazy and it actually held for I don't know one hour and a half it, it was it was amazing so because I knew that I was going to shoot at ISO 12800 I used my small Pava tube uh, as a field light from up top again I'm using top light so I don't have lights in my line side in my camera angles or anything like that so I can be as creative as possible and I also used a Pava tube a 15 one uh, that was 
feeling a little bit with red helping the mix panel 150 and to be honest it was crazy on how fast the light went down but i think we got some pretty amazing shots from that from that scene and to be honest i know it doesn't have like the best idea ever but the images that we managed to get out of this music video is it's crazy i, I mean i hope you you guys are on the same page i'm also very excited to share this behind the scenes because i think it is pretty complex and pretty complete and I think I went through a lot of things that um, were pretty important. And if you guys need or have any other questions regarding this music video, if you guys have um, other curiosities or anything like that, just type down the comments. I'll be responding them all. And I'm going to try my best to uh, be more, I don't know, complete next time I do this kind of behind the scenes. If you enjoyed it guys please follow me on instagram too make sure to subscribe on this channel and um, stay tuned because i have more of these videos coming up peace Dragostea Cum cade